See, we like to learn how to celebrate change. When we practice meditation twice every day, change is welcome. And probably if you lost that job, it wasn't good enough for you anyway. Something better can be done. We can make a better, more exciting, more creative, more innovative contribution to the group effort of civilization. And basically we want our job to reflect some great value and great meaning. So it's better if we, you know, we l look at the change that's occurred and we think, well, change occurred ever since I was in kindergarten. I was in kindergarten, I had friends, and then I had to go to first grade and that changed. And then I was in first grade and I had friends and then I had to go to second grade and that changed. But the grades keep going up and our opportunities continue to go up with them. So we have to have an eye on the past and say the pattern so far has been through this change, things just get better and better and better. So let's embrace change enthusiastically and look for greater opportunities to extend our territory of influence. And there's always plenty to be done on the earth. Lots of people needed, lots of occupations. So keep our attention on the prize and also bring the dignity of our inner status. Our inner status, that truth about our inner capability needs to have its dignity honored. And so if somebody has given us a shortcut by saying, you're no longer employed here, we just say, hallelujah, <laughs> I'm ready for change. <laughs> Fantastic. What's next? You know, and uh, like that, um, embrace the world with enthusiasm. And whatever it is that you end up doing, that's also going to change. And so be prepared always for change to define life. Change defines life. Stability on its own uh, is a dangerous state. Stability combined with and homogenized with adaptability, this is a status that we want. We want to be stable and adaptable, not just trying to keep the world from changing. And so we like change. <laughs>